It takes a special talent for a freshman offensive lineman to see the field. Anton Harrison did it at Oklahoma. What's up, everybody? My name's Kent Swanson. This is my guy, Sean Barr. We're about to break down Anton Harrison out of Oklahoma. This is presented by Miller Lite, one of the youngest prospects in this draft, Barber. Man, young, youthful, a coach's dream, something you can work with. He has a lot of skills, a lot of te uh, technical uh, foundational things for you to work with. So I would love to see which coaching staff is going to take and mold him to be a possible Pro Bowl offensive tackle. I love this kid, and I love where I think you may be able to steal him um, in, the, in the second or third round in the draft. Yeah, the traits just jump off off when you watch him. Like I think he's just got so many unique qualities. He's got the requisite arm length. He's got the frame. I don't think he's done growing. I mean, this is still a guy that I think you can, you know, kind of help work his body at the next level when you get you know, into an NFL system. So there's, you know, the air is pointing up for this kid. There's still, you know, there's probably some more polished tackles in this class, but there's plenty to like about his tape. Let's check it out. 26 seconds left. Gabriel looks left now going deep down the sideline. Touchdown! Anton Harrison, he might be one of the younger prospects, but he comes with a lot of experience playing at the power five level on the offensive line, Barber. Yeah, coming from Oklahoma, man, uh, being able to go get some of the top talent, what we have found out by watching this film and seeing him over and over again, the guy has some position flexibility, whether it's the right tackle, left tackle, man. Uh, even, I mean, possibly being able to get down and play a little bit guard, man. The guy's, uh, he's a football player. Uh, one thing we're seeing at the point of contact, he loves to explode his hands, explode his hips. Uh, he loves, it seems like he loves contact. Oh, finishing guys off, pancaking them. Um, would definitely be able to see this turn up a little extra notch on that, um, on this tenacity and his little attitude. Uh, you know, hey, in my book, there's no need for anybody on offense helping a defender up. Once you knock him on the ground, make him get himself up, and then tell him, uh, see you next snap. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think his best football is ahead of him, and that's not to say that the football hasn't been good to this point. Um, but you know, you see, there's some physicality to him in the run game. Um, there's in pass sets too. Like he's he's not you know he's he's calm. He's not he's not gonna be too threatened up the yard. Like he does a good job of uh, of staying square and, and really not feeling too threatened. And he's pretty patient, you know, in his pass set up the yard. Um, I, I think there's a lot of you know good projection for him. You know, there's, there's guys that play a lot of snaps. The guys that have the athletic profile that he does. The position flexibility. I mean, that's checking a lot of boxes. And he's you know, just turned 21, Barber. Yeah, I think the youth um, is probably the one thing that's going to be his greatest asset is that he's young, so you think he's going to be moldable. Um, an offensive coordinator and an old line coach would love a, a young guy with his wingspan and his anchor and the way he flexes and bends. He's a knee bender. He gets back, he punches, um, and he finishes his plays um, with, with a little bit of attitude. So he seems to be smart and he understands where the pocket is and where the passer is going to be at so like you said he's very patient even when you're trying to edge rush or speed rush against him he realizes well that's the long way to get into my quarterback and this ball's coming out fast I just got to be heavy and protect the inside so he seems to be a heady smart player um, and I think those are all things you like out of offensive linemen um, and then playing for Oklahoma we know that their offense has been spread running gun they pass the ball a whole lot and so you know he's, he's, he's battle-tested. Mm -hmm. And so all of those things are just plus, plus, pluses across the board for this young man. Uh, we love to see which team gets a, a hold of him and how they mold him. Mm -hmm. um, if there was a pro comp for me, I'm thinking of Colton Miller, mm -hmm. a player like that. Uh, obviously a high upside, but this guy definitely has a lot of potential. Uh, his brighter, uh, brighter days are definitely ahead of him. Yeah, you know, a uh, ton of agility and flexibility. You know, you're seeing him kind of anchor and bend a little bit here, um, you know, against, you know, a rusher and really rolling his hips into a, a defender. You'd like to see him, uh, you wish his hands were probably a little heavier than they are. Uh, you know, like that's something that like he's definitely more of a, uh, playing a little bit more like he's going to catch a guy rather than, you know, really deliver a strike. And you'd like to see him kind of use his hands with a little bit more power, uh, even in pass protection. You kind of help him use his length with a little bit more pop in his hands up the arc, but 
Um, you know, I think he does a pretty good job with his feet marrying, uh, especially for a guy his size. So I, I'm really interested to see where he goes. You know, th there's teams that could see him as, as a day one left tackle. You know, there's there's some teams that maybe want to give him a look at right tackle or in, earlier in his career, knowing that, you know, there's a fall, you know, there's a chance that he could develop into that left tackle. You know, that's not always the best idea to, to switch a, a young tackle prospect from one side to the other. But this is a guy that's already shown he's been able to do it at a high level on both sides of the football. So. I'm kind of interested to see his projection. That's Anton Harrison, the tackle out of Oklahoma.